what's good guys welcome back to ron's rise welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video where it's been a while since we've had a tonali on the channel it's i don't know why well, i mean it's been quadrifolio heaven as of lately i've been neglecting the tonales but now i got one back on the channel for you guys black exterior black interior but we got some good options on this thing to kind of make it the hot boy summer that we are looking for when it comes to the plug-in hybrid of the alpha male brand so with that said let's check out this murdered spec and let's see what the tonale is all about for the 2024 model year especially in this specific spec let's go for it now per usual big shout out to alfro male lakeland here in florida for letting me take a spin around this tonale for the 2024 model year if you guys are interested in getting this model or any other model they have on the lot make sure you guys check the link in the description check out their phone number their website and get one of these beautiful alfro males in your garage today now let's talk about under the hood of the Tenale because it's like no other Alfro male being the first plug-in hybrid with electrification from the brand's history. So with that said, what do we have here? What is this all about? Well, we do have a turbocharged and intercooled 16 valve, 1.3 liter inline four. So that engine itself is gonna give you 180 horses and 199 pound feet combined with the AC motor of 121 horses and 184 pound-feet. So total, that's 285 horses and 347 pound-feet with a 12 kilowatt lithium ion battery pack and a six-speed automatic direct drive transmission. Now, with all of that said, what does it mean in terms of performance? Well, we're looking at a zero to 60 time at 5.5 seconds with a quarter mile time at 14.2 seconds, zero to 100 in 15.8 seconds, and a top speed of 125 miles per hour. Now, do you need more than that when it comes to power for these models? Probably not, but if you guys thought that there would be some sort of quadrifolio variant, there probably won't be. So this will be the high performance that you will get in a Tenale. And I wanna know, what do you guys feel about that? Now here we are with the Alpha Black Tenale Veloce E all wheel drive. And as you guys can see, well, the Florida sun is definitely gonna shine this black up pretty nicely. And this car isn't even really cleaned or detailed. So obviously, you know, you get this cleaned up, it's gonna show even better than you're seeing it here today. But with that said, try LED setups for the front fascia. All right, so the three plus three LED lights, this came on a Tenale first and was introduced on the Stelvio and Julia right after. So you guys will see that that is a distinct look for the Tenale, um, but as you guys can see that it's carried over to the rest of the Alfa Romeo lineup, but it still looks good, a little bit different when it comes to the styling for the Tenale versus those models. And then you have the amber reflector there. We will see all of this illuminated shortly. But with the styling elements, you have this kind of bridge connector bridge grill to the Scudetto that is actually functional. You guys will see straight through it to the radiator and this is for extra cooling, which is a cool little kind of design element they had there. Now you will see this very 3D and matte black Scudetto up front for the Veloce trim level. So the Veloce will get this uh, set up and the Sprint will, but the TI will have it done in aluminum, Alfa Romeo Chilobo with the signal, or signal, the insignia right up front. Then you get the nice kind of, I want to say, chevron pattern grill all throughout. You see it in the Scudetto up there, and then you see it down here on the lower fascia with all the sensors and everything you will see as far as driver assistance technology. You do have a little feed through for this vertical slat here, the kind of curvature slat that goes all the way through there. And then take a step back, and you look at it all together, and yeah, that's a pretty good looking face when it comes to the Tenale. Now the side profile, well, it looks completely black, right? It is not, but to the untrained eye, you're probably gonna just say it's black. Let's talk about it. First, we have optioned on this model, not standard, but option, 20 inch Grigio phone dial wheels with the monochrome center cap and the red calipers, white script. Now you have Michelin Pilot Sport all season four tires wrapped around this wheel. You will also see the Veloce badge on the front fender, letting you know what we're working with here today. But the wheel wells and this little piece on the front fascia, wheel wells and side skirts, you would think is in black, but it's actually Vesuvio gray. I know. You get gloss black for the TI model, 
But for the Veloce, it's Vesuvio Gray. So this is actually two different colors. Now you can kind of see it up close, but from far away, it looks like it's just completely black. But then you get to the side skirt, and the side skirt has a kind of like matte finish, maybe matte black to it, versus the Vesuvio, which you'll see in the rest of the trunk of, trunk of the side skirt here. This little protruding part that goes down the center here, this piece, it's actually like a matte black. So there's a couple different color flavors going here. Now the mirror cap is also done in alpha black with obviously the Italian flag. And then you have gloss black for the window moldings to match with the B pillar, the C pillar, the serpent with the electric plug in its mouth, which is a really cool Easter egg. I really like that. Kind of lets you know what we're working with here today. And then we have a black shark fin antenna, black spoiler, and we have a glass roof because we have a panel roof right there as well. So take a step back and with what you know and looking at it, it still looks pretty sharp, right? I'm definitely digging this spec. Now the rear of the Tenale is very sleek and very flowy when it comes to its lines. As you guys can see, we have the side blades integrated here into the rear glass and that goes all the way into the spoiler and then the third brake light kind of hides in there as well very flowy then you can see the curvature of the rear where the light bar just kind of curves around the entire vehicle and gives it a very just kind of continuous line all the way across and as you guys can see the tri-led setup in the light bar as well with the alpha romeo insignia right up there and it's a nale badging as well that all looks really good and again we'll see that illuminated in just a moment and then come down to the bottom because you guys will see that this complete bottom is done in vesuvio gray when it comes to the body kit again it looks black but it is not black it is vesuvio gray and this whole piece here this whole piece from here and here if you guys are wondering why the audi lakeland plate is there it's because these two dealerships are combined audi and alpha lakeland just to clear that up now with that said you also have for the veloce exhaust tips dual exhaust on both sides so yes we have exhaust tips for the ti and for the sprint you do not have exhaust tips so that is one good thing that you guys will see coming from the veloce model and then the very middle of the rear diffuser is done in a plastic look all right so there we go what do you guys think about the rear and is it flowy is it sporty enough is it symmetric enough is it everything that you guys would want out of a tonale now let's talk about the charge door on this side because this is for the ev side of things remember there are two charge doors this one well that's going to be for plugging in about 33 miles of range on a full battery here and around two hours or so on a 240 volt charger you do get a 7.4 kilowatt charger on board here and keep in mind that this is a 14.8 kilowatt battery so with that said total around 330 miles on a full battery and a full tank of gas when it comes to the tonale now keep in mind i did a full video on how to charge your tonale so you guys know how to exactly just get everything up and running when it comes to this ev powertrain so now that we have it flipped around, we can talk about fuel economy because we did our electric range on that side with the plug-in hybrid setup. But now let's talk about actual fuel. Now, one thing about the Tenale is you can't just open up the fuel door. So this is a fuel door here. If I press it, you guys will see it is not opening for me. All right. So what you have to do in the Tenale is go inside and press the fuel door release button. And then you have to wait. And I'll show you guys in a second here because we'll open it up. You can see the fuel release door right there. Okay, I'm gonna press it and then I want you guys to look at the digital instrument cluster after I press it. Did I do it right? Oh no, I pressed it twice, there we go. Fuel door would open world ready, when ready. Yellow to green and now it's open. You can hear it ready to fuel up. All right, so keep that in mind for the fuel door because I'm sure a lot of people get frustrated on how to open up the fuel door. So then when we open up the fuel door, when it comes to actual gas, our mileage here is around 29 on gas only. But with the full electric range and fuel, you're getting an MPGE of 77. All right, so with that, you have around 33 miles of range or so, 29 miles per gallon. The MPG is rated at 77. And with that, that's gonna be your best highway driving you know, cruise control at a steady, uh, steady pace, you'll get that 77. 
Don't expect to get 77 all the time, but that is the max you will get from this range. And again, on a fuel tank with a fuel uh, with a full uh, battery and charged up, we're looking at around 320 miles on that tank. So let's talk about cargo space when it comes to the Tenale because you're looking at around, and you gotta reach all the way down here to the right hand side of the camera around 23 cubic feet of space in the rear but 51 when you fold down the 60 40 split as you guys can see crap we gotta go get that because we do not want to litter <laughs> we don't litter here all right let's grab that now <laughs> we do have a big privacy shade as you guys can see here right up top all right and then the center feed through that 60 40 split and then i'm gonna move my backpack out of the way and i'll put this plastic in here just for now move my backpack out of the way because there's a couple of things we need to get to one the 7.8 or 7.4 one of the two kilowatt charger here as you guys can see you guys get a charger alpha male branded charger here so looks beautiful right again i showed you guys a full video on how to use this thing so make sure you guys check that out and then we have a false floor lift that up you guys will see a tire inflate kit you guys will see a little extra stowage here a front plate here just in case you need to mount your front plate and a little shelf under there but not much is going to fit you do have a tow hook and a screwdriver and everything well the tow hook supposed to be over here and the screwdriver on that side but yeah not too crazy but plenty of space when the seats are folded down that's for sure and this is pretty deep this is well well enough when it comes to extra storage especially for in this class and now it's perfect that the sun has disappeared because i can show you the true essence of the illumination of the Tenale, as you guys can see with the tri-LED setup. Switchback LEDs between bright white and amber, and then your turn signal there with the LED headlamp and the reflector there, all integrated into one. Now with that, you also have in the mirror cap with the Italian flag, the amber turn signal there. And then in the rear, you got your light bar with the reflector right there. Light bar completely illuminated as well. Putting it all together, going across. I love the way that that looks. Now let's take a look at the vibes of the interior because we go black with black. Now, as you guys can see, this looks really good because it brings the Alfa Romeo aesthetic, but it does some things that the Giulia and Stelvio don't even do in a 2024 model year. For example, we have beautiful sports leather seats. These sports leather seats have embroidered headrests, something you can't get on the Giulia or Stelvio. And it's also not only heated, but ventilated. That means you get cooling in these seats, something you don't get on the Giulia's and Stelvio even in 2024. Now these seats are part of a package as well, so they are not standard, so keep that in mind. But we do have some things that are familiar, like the flat bottom sting wheel you guys see here with perforated leather on the inners, completely the same as the other Alfa Romeo models. Same with the start stop button right here on the steering wheel to start it up to life. And then we're here. Now you also have aluminum pedals there, the gas and brake pedal there, aluminum side sill as well with the Alfa Romeo script. And the door paneling will give you some minor touches here like the soft touches of this kind of like velour feel for the armrest with stitching. You also have, you know, this kind of stylized aluminum look for the bezel here and you will also see that you have the aluminum door handle door locks window controls all that good stuff soft um molded injected plastic and then we come inside how are we looking for a 2024 alpha male tonale let's talk about it so now looking at this cockpit let's break it down because while this is very alpha male-esque this brings some new set setups for the 2024 model year when it comes to stylistic design and dna so let's start with the 10.25 inch infotainment display obviously in the stelvio and julia it's 8.8 .8 inches and that's their in-house system this is the uconnect 5 system which is amazon alexa the same system that the Slantis group uses for all their other vehicles including maserati models this is a very fluid very intuitive and very nice system that we've known for the past i want to say four years now and while that might seem somewhat dated well, this system is pretty flawless and it seems a little bit better than what you know in the other model Julia's. 
So with that said, you get the, the latest and greatest from Alfa Romeo and from the Stellantis group. Now you also have this backing here that looks like it's like a metal feel to it, but this is actually an illuminated ambient lighting bar here that you guys will have. So there's styling when the bar is off, but when it lights up, you can change different colors when it comes to ambient lighting. I think between yellow, red, blue, and green. Now you also have, with the flat bottom steering wheel we talked about, our driver assistance controls here, our menu controls here with radio controls, our column mount power shifters, and then our steering wheel stocks. One side will give you lane keep assist if you press that button in. The other side here will be your menu view for your instrument cluster, which is fully digital. We'll talk about that in a moment. We have our door release, not door release, <laughs> our door gas door release there, and our trunk release there with our lighting controls there as well. You will see our HVAC vents here, soft touches for the plastic there, and then we have gloss black for the instrument cl uh, cluster and the TFT screen there for that surround. Now you will also see a soft velour finish for the central part of the dash, just like on the armrest here, and that will be stitched as well. Glove box here too, and then go to the center console because you will have a dual zone climate setup that's completely different from what you're used to where these are toggle switches here. You all have a 12 volt plug-in, you have a USB-C and USB 2.0 plug-in with your wireless charger right here with the serpent right here, which is a pretty cool Easter egg. Now you will also see our gear selector here, which we can go from one side to another if we want to shift using the gear selector or just use the power shifters right there on the steering wheel. Going to reverse and we're going to get our reverse camera there. And then we also have electric parking brake, volume controls for the radios, and then e-save mode and the parking sensors off. Titan flag, obviously that's gonna be great. You know, a little bit of extra flair. We also have cup holders here, that velour style armrest with the stitching, and then a deep armrest. I wanna say, yeah, we got some storage down there, pretty deep. Look up and you got the sunroof right there. And then look up here, SOS, dome lights, open up the sunroof. We have home link right there. And then obviously the visor and light. Now this instrument cluster, a little different than what we're used to when it comes to instrument clusters for the brand. And with that said, you guys will see that, you know, with it being a PHEV, there's a couple of different things that you're gonna look for. Like on this side here, it will show your electric plug and it will show your miles for the gas version here. But for the electric version of the car, you'll see what your battery is at, which we have 24 miles of battery there. All right, so it also says push brake and press button to shift into gear. So if I push the brake, then look at that. Now you can see where we're at to start. Now with that said, there's tons of things up here as far as information goes, but we can change a lot of things by pressing our view button I showed you earlier by going between the different views. And you can see that there are three. Now, I always say that this one's my favorite. <laughs> and then I can scroll in between different things I want to dis be displayed by pressing this button here. It will highlight the section right there in the center. You guys will see we're hybrid info, charge and power. And we got the messages, uh, driver assistance stuff, performance, navigation, put that in there. All kinds of stuff, guys. Now, guys, I don't know how I almost missed it, but we do have our DNA mode selector here as well. And as you guys can see, it's normal for what we know for Alpha Male, but there's something here that has changed the game. You can finally individually turn off your traction when it comes to the Alpha Male Tonale. You could not do that in the Julia or Stelvio models. And again, to this day, Unless you have a quadrifolio and you put it on race mode, then it turns off your traction automatically, but you have to be in race mode. Individual traction off, when in dynamic mode, dampers are softened up and we're ready to go. So with that said, obviously you don't have to do that. I can go back into just dynamic mode regularly, or I can go into natural mode, everyday driving, you know, or advanced efficiency, best for your fuel economy. Same with e-save mode here. Um, you know, it's best to use the battery and hybrid power, but it's cool to be able to turn the traction mode off. Now I know you have to be in dynamic, but it's not like race mode, where it's like super aggressive, like you would have in the quadrifolio models. So again, this is cool that you actually have a button to individually turn off your traction, which in other alpha males, you do not. Now we gotta check out the rear because we're getting the same flavors in the back as we do up front. So 
as you guys can see, black on black on black on black. <laughs> now you will see the perforated leather here as well for the seating arrangements. And hop inside, pretty decent space. A little bit of knee wiggle room, just a little bit. All right, just a little bit. Um, you also will see we have the nice leather pouch for stowage. We do have our HVAC vents, USB 2.0 and USB-C plug-in right there in the center. And then on our door panel, you will see that we have the soft touches for the plastic, the very etchy um, design for the bezel there as well with the aluminum door handle, and then the soft touches for the armrest with the stitching inside there as well. And obviously the speaker setup, cup holder, everything there that you guys will need. In the center, you guys will see that this will sit three comfortably. You will see that extra thigh support when it comes to the middle seat passengers. What I do like is that um, you do have the cup holders right there in the center, and this is a big armrest. All right, so I love that, and I love that you have the strap to help pull it down. And I said extra thigh support for the middle seat. The middle seat doesn't get the extra thigh support, and it's definitely the passengers on either side. Now, when you look up, you do get the sunroof that gives you a lot of natural lighting as well. Doesn't come as far back as I would like, but it's a pretty good size sunroof when you look at it from here. So you should be good and pretty illuminated when it comes to the rear seat of the Tonale. So let's talk about this sticker breakdown for this 2024 Alfa Romeo Tonale Veloce E all wheel drive. So your base price, you're looking at $48,840. But after our additional options and your 1595 destination, will you have $55,635? But keep in mind that you can still lease these vehicles and get the full $7,500 tax credit as of recording this video. I'm pretty sure. Double check that, but keep that in mind that you can take $7,500 off of this price. So then that makes it closer to a $47,000 car, which makes it a big difference when it comes to the price tag. And with that, you have your basic warranty of four years, 50,000 miles, powertrain four years, 50, and your eight year, 100,000 mile hybrid system with eight years, 100,000 mile high voltage battery warranty as well, and roadside assistance, of course. So how do we get there when it comes to pricing? We have a few options on this, four to be exact. The Alpha Black Exterior Paint is $500. Then you have the premium interior package at $1,500 with the perforated leather seats and the ventilated front seats. You also have the power moonroof at $1,200 and the 20 inch Grigio five hole wheels, $2,000. Now everything else you see on this Veloce model is standard for this car. So all of this here comes at that $48,840 $840 price tag before the additional options. So make sure you guys pause, zoom in, screenshot, all that good stuff so you guys can see everything that this comes with when it comes to the Tonale for the 2024 model year in the Veloce spec. What are you guys thinking about this one? So with the potential price of $47,000 after leasing with the $7,500 tax credit, is the Tonale worth it for you guys? Is it enough Alfa Romeo for you guys? I wanna know down in the comments below. Now, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Guys, check the links in the description if you guys want to help further support the channel and the dealership. Make sure you guys check the link for them and make sure you guys subscribe or click the notification bell so you don't miss one video. And with that said, we will see you guys in the next one. Peace.